Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about one of the toughest shots in golf, the buried lie bunker shot. I hope you enjoy it. All right, here we have a tough position. My ball has entered the sand and it is buried. So you can see there it's, uh, it's buried at least half, maybe a fraction more than that. What do we need to get this ball out? A shovel would be fantastic, wouldn't it? So uh, I'm gonna show you how to turn your golf club into a shovel. If I open the club face, the club actually takes a very shallow divot. So it's a bit like getting a butter knife and just taking a thin scraping. What do we really need to get this ball out is we wanna turn the club face into a shovel. So by closing the club face, and just me entering the sand, you can see there it's dug in pretty deeply. So how do we do it? We simply play the ball a bit further back in our stance. We close the club face and at this point it looks absolutely weird because my club face is actually pointing at my left foot. Don't be worried, you're not going to hit your left foot. If we swung this way, you would, but we're not going to, we're going to be swinging that way and the club is just going to bury underneath the ball and it's going to pop out on a cushion of sand. When we do this, we just have to realise that when the ball comes out, it's not going to stop like a normal bunker shot. It's actually going to have a lot of run on it, so we just need to allow for that. This is actually a tough place here. The green slopes away from me and it's a pretty narrow green, so I may not be able to stop it on the green, but at least I'm out of the, the terrible situation. We shall see how we go. So, closed club face, it's pointing at my left foot. My weight, once again, is forward. I've got the ball back in my stance, just a fraction. I'm going to pick the club up and I'm gonna hit down firm behind the ball and we'll see what happens next. And you can see the ball's popped out. It's actually just rolled off the back of the edge. The ball went a little bit left, which is because the club face is closed but you can actually see there, I've actually got a very big deep divot, but I didn't really hit it that hard. So as much as we can, like the rest of golf, we try and let the club face do the work for us. We don't try and overpower it. Thank you for letting me help improve the health of your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor.